queue as the world anxiously awaits a medical breakthrough for treating coronavirus. There is promising news tonight about an antiviral drug that appears to have the support of Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's leading infectious diseases expert. CBS 4 Steve Goldstein has more details for us. The drug is called Remdesivir, made by Gilead Sciences, and there's proof it's effective in fighting COVID-19. Now, this morning, the National Institutes of Health, NIH, released results of the drug's independent trial of nearly 1,100 patients. That the data shows that Remdesivir has a clear-cut, significant, positive effect in diminishing the time to recovery. This is really quite important for a number of reasons, and I'll give you the data. It's highly significant. If you look at the time to recovery being shorter in the remdesivir arm, it was 11 days compared to 15 days. The trial's primary goal was improving recovery time, so it was a success, and it leads to a big factor moving forward. What it is proven is that a drug can block this virus. And I'll give you an example in a moment of why we think, looking forward, this is very optimistic. The mortality rate trended towards being better in the sense of less deaths in the remdesivir group. Strong positive words from Dr. Fauci and why these results have been released. Whenever you have clear-cut evidence that a drug works, you have an ethical obligation to immediately let the people who are in the placebo group know so that they could have access. And all of the place now have a new standard of care. Involved in this and other studies, Dr. Kathleen Newsel is an infectious disease expert at the University of Maryland. She is pleasantly surprised. Generally, with viral diseases and antivirals, we do best when we start early. And, and that's why, to me, this is remarkable that, that there's any effect at all. And, and, you know, there was this positive effect that, that Dr. Fauci talks about. Now, upon the news early this morning, the stock market futures soared. Gilead stock ended the day up more than 5.5%. And the S&P 500 continued its resurgence up more than 2.5% to close at 2939, its highest level since March 6th. In the newsroom, Steve Goldstein, CBS 4 News.